Howdy friends, Gary Wiseman here, and it is time for another market scoreboard. Now, if you're not familiar with market scoreboard, it's where we take a 30,000 picture, 30,000 foot view of the real estate market, and uh, we tell you what's going on in the market, and then we tell you who's winning in the real estate market. So I'm Gary Wiseman with Keller Williams, and let's dive right on into the numbers. This week we are taking a look at Frisco, Texas, and the first thing we look at is how many months inventory do we have? Now, how do we figure this out? First off, we take a look at how many homes sold last month, how many homes are currently on the market, and then at the number of homes that sold last month, how many months would it take to sell all the homes currently on the market if no new homes hit the market? So right now, we are just over three and a half months of inventory. Now, anything under three is considered a seller's market, and then you get to four to six months, and that's a balanced market, and uh, anything over seven months, that becomes a buyer's market. So at three and a half months, we're actually starting to approach a balanced market. Now, again, this is the 30,000 foot view, so there's different pockets of homes, price ranges of homes, certain neighborhoods where there's less inventory, they're moving quicker than others, but Let's take a look at the rest of the numbers. Last week, we had 67 homes hit the market in Frisco, and there's currently 1,161 homes for sale. And uh, under contract, we have 334 homes. So that 334 is just shy of a third of the amount of homes for sale. So keep that in mind while you're looking on Zillow and Trulia and all the big national portals. Uh, they don't necessarily pull the homes off of there whenever they have a contract. So about a third of the homes you're seeing actually have contracts on them already. Year to date, we have uh, 2,218 homes already sold with an average price of uh, just under $460,000. Now, the uh, rate at which homes are appreciating is slowing down quite a bit. Uh, year over year from uh, you know August to August, we're only at about 1% higher. So the past few years, we've seen 13, 14, 15% growth. Last year, it slowed down to around 8 or 9%. And man, it's really slowed down right now as far as August over August. This isn't a year over year. This isn't a month over month. This is just from where we were this time last year. But things are slowing down uh, appreciation-wise for sure. Now, the average days on market is 57 days, which that's a bit up. So if we take a look down here, what else is going on? This is the year-to-date number of sold homes for the past four years. Now, low inventory has been what's driving the market the past few years. You can see there's not much inventory here. And then last year, we actually did get some inventory. Builders started having homes. Uh, some sellers, some homeowners actually started getting their house on the market. So we had a good number of homes sold. This year, with over 1,100 homes on the market, we actually have inventory and uh, days on market are going up. So we're just selling a few less homes. Days on market's creeping up. And then here's the average price. You can see it's gone up and up the past few years and actually it's kind of leveling out. Now, this is a good thing. The prices have been going up so fast the past few years that we've started to get to a affordability issue. So prices slowing down a little bit is not a horrible thing. Secondly, 57 days on market for an average, that's not very bad. A few years ago, we had average of 100 days on market, 120 days on market. So, you know, as we're starting to get into a balanced market, you're going to see longer days on market. Now, what does this mean for home buyers and home sellers? Again, this is the 30,000 foot view. If you break it down into smaller uh, price ranges, that entry level home is still selling really fast. We don't have enough of those still low inventory in that beginner uh, entry level house. So those are selling quickly. Uh, you'll still see some multiple offers there. As you move up to that middle range house, you're starting to see a little bit of slowdown, a little bit more inventory. And when you get to the luxury market, it's sitting still. There's you know not a whole lot of movement there. So who's winning in the market right now? Well, if you're selling your first home, you're going to have plenty of people looking for it. And um, if you're a buyer in the higher end homes, you're going to have plenty of inventory to pick from. 
And then if you really want to be the big winner, who's, who's really, really winning in the market is that person who is selling their first time home, something under say 325, uh, under 300, even under that price range. If they're selling that home, there's going to be plenty of people looking for that house. If they're moving up and staying in Frisco, moving up to 350 or more, they're actually going to start finding some inventory and uh, houses that are on on the market for longer than just a couple of days, like it's been in the past few years. So they might actually be able to uh, negotiate a little bit better terms. So that's who's really winning is the first time home seller who's moving up to their next bigger, nicer home. I'm Gary Wiseman with Keller Williams. If you have any questions about this market update, please feel free, reach out, let me know, comment on the post, shoot me an email, give me a text. I'm uh, here to answer any questions and talk to you any way I can. Have a great day. We'll see you later on.